You, you began um, at the Academy of Arts, you studied there in Berlin. Yeah. And then you studied also um, our, our dynamics yes. in uh, Paris. Yeah, yeah. Um, why did you do this? Um, what was well, I will tell you, it's very easy to answer. I started as a sculptor because my father is or was an artist. And I wanted to follow him, like sons do, because he was working at home as a stage designer for big film companies. And uh, then, as any youngster in the world, I would like, I wanted to build cars. And I fell on my nose with the little knowledge I had about car designing. When I built, as a sculptor, I built cars. And I made up my mind, I had to study high technology. And then I went to Paris to design and to, to study aerodynamics, ultralight construction, and uh, aircraft design. Yeah, you've been working in the United States? So yes, Poland. yes, and then uh, when I was ready with my uh, diploma, come down the stairs, I have written articles about uh, new materials for aircraft design. And uh, when I came down the stairs, there were two gentlemen from America <laughs> and said, are you Korani? Yes, I am. Oh, come here, a cup of coffee. A week later, I was in Santa Monica, California, and I was head of new materials <laughs> at a very famous aircraft company. I, I never had worked with a gram of fiberglass before. I just had the ideas in my head. So I had to learn very, very fast to work with fiberglass. And uh, I stayed there for one and a half year. And uh, then I was... Uh, asked back from the uh, auto industry in France, the boss of Simcar, it was a car company at that time, he came to Monsieur Pigozzi, he came to America, and as I spoke fluently French, uh, I was commissioned to translate for him. And he said, what are you looking here as a Frenchman? He thought I was French. <laughs> My French was not nearly good at that time. and. Uh, uh, what are you doing over here? We need people like you over there in Europe. I told him, give me the same contract I have here. And I, I very much uh, uh, grateful to you to take me back to Europe. I didn't want to stay in America. This was, for me, uh, a little strange over there. Mm. And uh, so it happened. And I built, in '53. it was the first European car in fiberglass at the castle of Le Baron du Pouget. He was a co-organizer of the 24-hour race at Le Mans. So I was in the middle of the racing business. And I built this fiberglass car. And later on, I designed many, many of the cars that went to Le Mans with Deutsche Bonnet, 750 ccm, air-cooled front engine, tiny cars, but very streamlined. And they were running like mad until for, uh, I, I don't know, six, eight or ten years we were uh, very, very successful uh, until Lotus came along and he was a little better than we were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Colin Chapman, uh -huh. famous Lotus uh, yeah. designer and he was much better. <laughs> so I, we were out of the, of the business. Yeah. But you had the same, I think, um, philosophy uh, in, a, in a part because you also... Um, it's all about efficiency, lightweight.